All right, so here today we do got a few topics to go through. We have two topics on Tower of God, new world here to go through. Hope you're uh, enjoying your day. Hopefully you're ready for this one. If you're new to the channel, like and subscribe helps out a ton. Let's hop into it and let's go through everything we got in this entire notice. So there's two things first. Uh, we have this one over here, 514 special, 1000 suspending product and new bundles. For some reason, dude, these devs are trying to milk your suspending right now and take it all. I don't know why. So just, just stay safe with it. I don't get what they're trying to do but it's like they want it they did really want you to suspend him so there might be some sort of specialty event coming soon again no idea but they want you to suspend him that's what it is they want it they need it they're gonna grab it at all uh situations at all areas they've been putting so many suspending bundle, uh, bundles out here but there's a lot of suspending bundles that are active uh, a lot of stuff for various things correct for example uh you can pick up some ssr soul stones two of them wow for a thousand oh my god so nice uh, a thousand rear for two times so i'll have to go through these in game and see how good they are but there are a lot and a lot of these bundles over here uh they are kicking up for the um i'm guessing anniversary or something like that uh 22 bucks gives you small amounts of suspendium too not really a value pack over here 22 bucks for 16 normal summon tickets and 1650 suspendium over here uh ignition battle pass stuff like that uh, pretty standard stuff. So that's the 514 bundles. Again, I don't know why, but they really, really, really want your suspendium. I don't know if there's an anniversary event coming soon. I don't know if this is just a nice gesture. I can't tell, so don't ask me, correct? Uh, if you want to go and do it, spend it. There are some, from, from looking at it at first glance, there are some okay bundles here, but it's all up to you. Your decision at the end of the day. Next up, though, beyond that topic, we have a second topic over here. This one being the real-time Q&A officially now here from the uh, live stream itself. Uh, shout out to one of the comment section uh, homies there who let me know about this, actually. But I forgot. They didn't make a separate notice. They just amended this notice, which doesn't notify anybody. So today, we'll go through this real quick. We are currently preparing uh, the real-time thing. They did uh, basically do it, so that's now old. Uh, they say this over here. Are there any plans, this is the question, to re-release collaborations? Collaborations are carried out through contracts for a limited period of time, which means that the contract must be renewed in order for the collaboration to rerun. We currently have no plans to rerun past collaborations and will uh, instead focus on providing satisfaction through the addition of characters that our regulars wish for. Again, both the reruns of collaborations and collaborations as an, as an entity on its own are dead correct keep that in mind there is a chance we get it in like november december but till then it's dead so seven months you have to basically wait until potentially you see a collaboration uh six or seven months right so again they did say it they said in the dev notes they said it there people complained they kept complaining about collaborations so they said okay we just won't do them if, if everyone's gonna complain about it we just won't do it and um that's the reasoning so does it suck hell yeah i think that we should have gotten a collaboration either after the anniversary uh, but not definitely waiting from November. We got one in January. So January all the way till November, almost a year waiting for a collaboration. Kind of sucks in my opinion, but hey, everyone has their own opinion. So it's all separated. But beyond that, when are we going to, or sorry, where are you going to place the Call of Clans content? Since there are uh, parts uh, of the clan, uh, Call of Clans content that are linked to growth, we believe that the balance of growth and um, basically adaptability to modes must be shared. We will probably be able to introduce this content around the end of the year. Damn, we got a while to then. I'm curious about the order of characters released. Uh, will it be different from the original story? If we release characters in the order of the original story, it may take up to one to two years uh, for characters who are active in the more recent chapters to be released. Therefore, to accommodate all regulars who are reading the original work, we plan to release a lineup of both recent and original characters in a balanced manner. While N Ryu is not included in this year's lineup, all po popular characters are planned for release. We will provide further information when the time comes. Pre-release... Uh, or sorry, please release the 2023 uh, Fall Festival event. We are planning to bring back the 2023 Fall Festival events. Ooh, uh, and we'll provide you further information regarding the update through another notice. I'm concerned about the addition of page three to the Tri Essence facility. Some of our regulars have concerned or voiced their concerns regarding the addition of the third page of Tri Essence facility. Uh, during our live, uh, live broadcast, many uh, regulars requested the addition of a third page, considering the significant accumulation of in-game currencies that you can use in the Tri Essence facility. 
we believe that it wouldn't be a bad idea to allow it to further growth uh, by utilizing these currencies. Although there was a challenging factor in which all slots had to be A ranked to open up page two, we will make sure the uh, slots on page three can be activated without any conditions, making it unnecessary to readjust your current growth. Please stay tuned for more information regarding the addition of page three in our future updates. Very cool stuff. Okay, cook up devs, cook up. Uh, do you have any plans to buff unused characters? We do have some concerns regarding the possibility of directly adjusting a balance of characters as it may make them too powerful as enemies in PvE content causing stress. Therefore, we plan to adjust the balance naturally by emphasizing strengths or compensating for weaknesses through mechanisms like revolution, ignition weapons, and more. This approach will allow uh, unused characters to be utilized more efficiently. Report, there's an issue in which Penisher uh, Ren's exclusive weapon level skill two, invincibility effect is not applied. We are carefully or have carefully reviewed the related footage. Any suspicion of uh, aspects were fixed through the 425 update. Please add more Alliance Mark designs. We are, or we will make preparations to allow players to obtain new marks through Alliance related content or events. And we will also diversify the base marks based on the Alliance level. The uh, Raihana ignition weapons will be, uh, was a Whereas it has made PvP content less enjoyable, we received feedback that the uh, PvP feels less enjoyable due to the ignition weapon, again, being Raihana. Uh, we believe that this may have been particularly noticeable in content in which slot levels are fixed. We fully emphasize the sentiment. However, rather than nerfing the, again, ignition weapon options, we plan to maintain its performance while updating other ignition weapons to serve as counters with gimmicky elements. Are you planning on releasing new ranks uh, for normal equipment normal uh, equipment ends at a uh, rank s and we are currently um basically not planning to do anything more than that so cool stuff there uh please add a uh, buff that prevents data and Han from <laughs> offing himself due to unintentional teleportation upon using the skill lightning strike uh which often <laughs> leads to unexpected deaths we plan to compensate for this issue through revolution as well as a slight sp uh, spoiler we are planning to add an invincibility effect hey yo Hey, yo. Hey, dude, wait, wait, wait. That could be huge, dude. This could be huge for so many characters. Is my Kesia finally going to stop offing herself as well? She just teleports in. It completely gets one shot. Hey, there's a chance. I wish I had uh, Rachel as a collab character. We plan to quickly prepare a Tower Guard character who can fill the support role of Rachel. Additionally, the collab Rachel will be maintained a suitable role and will not be nerfed. Cool stuff. So, if you miss out on Rachel, you have a chance to get all oh, Rachel. Not that, Rachel. Uh, there are not enough resources to obtain master keys needed for initial weapons. We will make it so that master keys can be obtained through various channels, such as exchange shops and events. Please make improvements so that we uh, can use accumulated, uh, basically, instruction manuals. We are preparing events that can exchange accumulated instruction manuals for currency or items that you need. Do you have any plans on adding disassembly slash limit break features to SSR Plus teammates? We currently have no plans for a feature that which will uh, allow you to uh, disassemble or limit break um, max teammates. However, we are considering ways to further grow characters. We will provide further details once these plans are finalized. Uh, can we obtain stats from both ignition weapons, uh, Runda and Taurus? We are uh, currently planning to make improvements so that you can obtain stats from both ignition weapons, Runda and Doris, um, and so that the shield effect is more viable or visible. Sorry. Uh, do you have plans for the uh, on operating the game long term? Okay. We believe that this might be uh, or might have uh, been caused by a lot of disappointment. Uh, we will make sure to prepare well and communicate effectively so that we can provide a long lasting service and ensure you um, enjoy playing the game. Will this game last? I don't know. Can't give you a, a yes, right? Because they did very bad last month. Very bad. Uh, for Net Marble, that's like, that's garbage revenue. So I do wonder if they do pull the plug within like a year or two. But, um,. You better hope that revenue goes up. That revenue was not good. 900k for a net marble game. Not the best. Not the best. So hope that goes back to like 1.5 to 2 million. If it, if it stays in that range. Jin Sung is coming out. If Jin Sung is below a million, this game is dead. I'm making that clear. Not being negative. I play the game. But Jin Sung being less than a million. Oh no. We're dead. <laughs> we're completely dead. Can't play this game on PC. We have confirmed that the game can be played on emulators, so please check your uh, hardware settings. Do you have any plans on adjusting the balance after Chapter 50? We are planning to adjust it. Um, the update is already complete. Is there a VIP system? 
uh, or bonuses. We have opened the web shop. We'll provide discount coupons that can be used in it. Please make improvements so that you can easily tell or select the desired options on initial weapons. We will make sure that you can reroll initial weapons uh, or add a feature in which you can uh, select the desired options. Adventure is a little too difficult uh, to the appearance of four Eurex's opponents. It was applied in to be an interesting hurdle. However, we understand that defeating Eurex is too challenging and we are subsequently considering adding a green element character that can counter him. Additionally, we plan to avoid all situations in which four Eurex will appear all at once. Moving on. Uh, there's an issue with the display combat power after the update here. It's already been fixed. So there you go. Uh, can you change the maintenance time? Nobody really cares about that. Are there any characters that counterattack when taking damage? There are several characters that are not frequently used by our regulars, such as Lurker Kim or Yu, who, uh, and we are planning to add, um, or planning so that they better fulfill their roles through evolution. Do you have any plans to bring back Fall Festival costumes? We are planning to bring them back. So keep that in mind. Please uh, clarify the monthly subscription revamp. It seems that uh, like there are concerns regarding the season pass uh, product revamp, particularly the highest price items not being taken down and are being maintained. We will make sure to discuss the sold products with the relevant departments to ensure the balance can be adjusted reasonably. Uh, can we see uh, her new costume? New costume be finalized. We are uh, planning on revealing it in June. So next month, next month we get the free costume. It's too difficult to level up rapport. As of now, it is difficult to adjust the XP values required to leveling up rapport. We'll make sure the items are easily accessible through the events. Please add background theme music. We are currently preparing a new background theme along with a new BGM. I wanna hear uh, your opinions regarding the add removal bonus. Uh, uh, we will provide some let's just i skipped to this over here we provide items through events that will allow regulars to experience premium bonuses so please keep an eye out for them we appreciate the feedback in addition the ad removal uh, name will be changed to alleviate any negativity over here thank god why would you name it the ad removal thing there's no ads in the game unless you watch an ad uh so remember that theoretically yeah you're not forced an ad down your throat so they're renaming it to tower god premium which is so much better i think uh 21 limit breaks are too many we are providing events that help you grow. Basically, yeah. <laughs> We're not changing that. That's too much. Uh, please uh, upload the updates uh, more quickly. Um, we'll try to expedite the, uh, expedite the process. They'll try to. We'll see if that ever happens. There's an issue in which characters can't use their special moves when using Rundor Doris. We believe that the items from the special moves waiting uh, time being long compared to how the energy is easily accumulated. We are currently investing in the matter. Additionally, we plan to fix the cases where a character designated to uh, use their special move is unable to due to the crowd control effects, etc. in the next update so that characters can use their special moves. Do you have any plans to provide backgrounds that have been released? Um... Oh, that have already been released. They'll be available when story events are re-released, so please wait for the upcoming uh, events. Gathering Queen is challenging. Uh, we'll do our best for this issue that can be solved through loot, newly added adventure chapter rewards, various event rewards, and etc. Okay. That's basically it. So, a lot of good information, right? Basically, the biggest confirmation of them all was the first one. Collaboration reruns aren't happening. They aren't, right? They could in two years if they renegotiate re a, a contract, right? But till then, probably not. So keep that in mind, collapse in itself are dead. Uh, other great changes though, June will get the as uh, the skin. A bunch of cool things that are gonna be worked on. Uh, no buffs or nerfs directly, but they'll release content to buff and nerf a character like Revolution, Ignition, and whatever. That's all that they plan to do. So don't expect like um, anything beside that, right? So there, there is that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think about all this stuff here. Are you hyped? Are you excited? Uh, do you not care? Is this all garbage to you? I'm very curious what you think about this. So there is that. I'll end the video there. Thanks for watching. Take care, everyone. Have fun. Peace out. And that has been the uh, TOG video.